So I've shown you guys a little bit of Infinity Falls, which is uh, the river rapid ride here. Uh, not gonna do it, not today. It's not uh, hot enough for a river rapids. Uh, I am not gonna get soaking wet, but there you go, 40 foot drop. You get the gist, soaking wet, not gonna do it. Oh, my favorite book growing up with a little yellow golden book, like the uh, little golden book uh -huh. with the gold spines. Yeah. And it used to be um, the monster at the end of this book, uh -huh. and it was Grover. And you just kept going, find the, keep saying, no, stop, don't keep going. And you keep going, no. <laughs> and then you find out who the monster really is at the end of the book. Uh, well, I'm not gonna um, really Yeah, let's just keep walking down here. I'm not sure if I had this on record, but it's themed like an old theater. Catwalk, backstage, exit, moonwalk, awesome seats, uh, awesome shows, little shop of hoppers. Holy cow, I love that they're doing these little kiosks. Give us your feedback, guys. This is excellent. Uh, I have nothing else to say. And look at all this really cool theatrical stuff and disco balls and can lights. And let's just say, shoes. But these are the true stars right over here. What's up, Cookie Monster? How you doing? Oh my goodness. Cookie Monster, how cool is that? Elmo, what's up? Yes, you having fun today? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun meeting. Elmo and Cookie Monster. Oh my goodness. That was just, it was so much fun. And there was like no line, no line whatsoever. All right, so right before we met them, uh, my camera battery died, so I switched to my phone. Uh, so instead of the uh, Canon G7 Mach 2, I'm now filming on my Samsung Galaxy 9, which is perfectly fine. I had an extra battery with me, uh, but believe it or not, I actually, I think I uh, opened my bag and did something and it fell out. Which is okay, I got lots of batteries at home. Lots. But anyways, we are in the Sesame Street store. I think this is like Mr. Hooper's uh, a store. And it's just really, really cool. And let's take a look at some of the stuff over here. All right, gang, first off, there's a ton of Elmo stuff over here. Oh my goodness, Elmo sweatshirts. Elmo coin purses, Elmo purses, Elmo dishes, lots of Elmo stuff. Uh, this guy right here, this is like $26. So $26 for one of the uh, Elmo plushes. Um, a sweatshirt is going to run you about $45. So $45 for that sweatshirt. So that's not horrible. Uh, here's like all the Abby Cadabby stuff. Look how cute all this is. Oh, and an Abby Cadabby doll. Is that gonna be the same? Yeah, $26.99 for an Abby Cadabby doll. And look at all the purses. $50 for the hoodie. But they have all these really cool capes you can get too. That's pretty cool. A cape is uh, $14. There they are, right there. So you can get like Super Grover. Well, that's so cool. One that says it's my birthday, so everyone will know. And then here is the adult sizes. So adult ones, you can get Elmo, Cookie Monster, Abby Cadabby, 
Uh, and these are $15, so a dollar more than the youth sizes. But look at that, that's pretty cool. But look at this, okay. This is pretty epic. Look at these socks. These are actually really nice. How much are the socks? The socks are $15. And these are actually, how many pairs? That's one, two, three, four. That's five pairs of socks are $15. It's actually not a bad deal. Holy cow. And look, you can get your Sesame Street underwear. I wonder if this is, oh, this is like the good nylon underwear too. How much is a pair of underwear? Let's see here. Look at Oscar the Grouch underwear, oh my gosh. Uh, and that is $15 for Oscar the Grouch underwear. That is so cool. Well, you can just be like, hashtag grouchy. <laughs> this coffee mug, I woke up like this. Oh, here we go. Straight out of Sesame Street. But they also sell like onesies. And they have a Cookie Monster onesie. This is the one I would get. And it's $40. What were you saying, Dwayne? So, I'm singing along with Big Bird, thank you very much. So, so far, everything I've seen here, the merch is on point. And it just, holy cow, it just got better. Let me show you this. So you got your Sesame Street 50 years in counting bags. And then your little hoodie right there. Zip up hoodie, let's see how much this one is. Oh, this is thin. This is like super thin. And that's $40. You got your blinged out Elmo right there. This hoodie is really cool. Cause I'm like, look at that pattern. That pattern is so cool. Anything on the back? Nothing on the back. Just the 50 years of Sesame Street. And how much is this? Let's see here, $49.99. But, oh, and then they got the Sesame Street reusable bags that they're selling. Uh, these really cool Sesame Street hats. These are actually really nice. And $24.99. Look at that. That is so cool. And all these great t-shirts. Uh, this one's, what, $26.99 for the Sesame Street 50 Years and Counting shirt. And then they have some youth stuff. That backpack is awesome. Holy cow, let's look at this. Um, this backpack is $50, and guys, I would not buy it. It is very thin. <laughs> it's not like the best of materials. Um, yeah, that's a very thin backpack. That would break easily. But look at all this. Look at these umbrellas. I'm not going to open it, but I'm guessing it's Sesame Street stuff inside that umbrella. Some Sesame Street. And then, um, well, these aren't Tervises. <laughs> it's cool. Definitely not a Tervis. Uh, what is it? Signature. So same thing as a Tervis. Just different company. Uh, $24.99. They're really cute, but Tervises have lifetime guarantees, and that's why I like Tervises. And, yeah. But look at the Sesame Street frame. Oh, that's cute. How much is this frame? There we go, $24.99 for the frame. And that's really cute. And look, they're like different ones. We got that one, and then that one. And then, oh, birthday candles. They actually sell birthday candles here. And all of this great, awesome stuff. And then, here we go. Here is Super's Employee of the Month, this month. It's Cookie Monster, and previous months. Well, there you go, you get the joke. And then we got these awesome keychains here with like little jewels on them. And those are $12. I don't understand why keychains are so expensive. That's 
one thing that boggled me. But look at this little Elmo. It's big headed Elmo with small little body Elmo. Oh, that's so cute. And then this guy is $12.99. I would get the socks before I would get that. But that's just me. Oh my gosh. There's my guy right there, Oscar the Grouch. This guy is awesome, $5.99. But they got Cookie Monster ones, Elmo ones, Abby Cadabby ones, Big Bird ones, Grover ones. Of course they have those magic towels. Every theme park has those. Oh, and then they got figures that squirt water out. That's interesting. That's $6 for one of those. And these great lights. Right back there. That's where we took photos with Cookie Monster and Elmo. Uh, the stuff I've shown you so far in the shop is just a little bit. Just a little section. Uh, and there's been a lot of stuff in the store keeps going on and they got some good stuff in here but let me uh, go back to those recyclable bags and uh, let me show you what they have here on Sesame Street here we go so these are the ones here you got the Count you got Big Bird Bert and Ernie Oscar the Grouch they got a big one here oh you're good don't worry you got a big one here look at this thing how much is this one this one's really cool that's $7.99 for that big one. And then they got, looks like some blind boxes. Yeah. And you can get one of those characters or the mystery one. And it's, was a surprise plush. And these are $10 each. Then they have the uh, 50 years limited edition pin set. And that's what it looks like limited edition. There's only 300 of these. That is so cool. Let's see if there's a price. Nope, not a price. I'll see if I can figure out the price on this. They also have these really cool Sesame Street Tom shoes. Oh, these are so cool. Nine. Don't know the price on these, but look at these Abby Cadabby ones. Oh, that's so cute. And then they got the magnets right there. Oh, and by the way, this pin set is $75. All right. So me, Julia, I think this is amazing that Sesame Street's doing this. Not only do they have their own Muppet who has autism, Julia is four years old, but it's on display here. And being in April, uh, Autism Awareness Month, it makes my heart even that much bigger about this. So you can get the big golden book that tells you all about Julia and her friends, and the Turvis. And I just think this is so cool of Sesame Street and SeaWorld to do this. So, very cool people. Very cool. Alright, so, this one right here, this is a legit Turvis. There you go, you can see on the lid. So they have some that are Turvises, and this is $18.99, so that's a smaller one here than the ones were that we were looking at, like over there. Um, but yeah, this is a legit Turvis. Look at these bags! Oh, I miss the bags. Oh, these are so cute. And one of those bags is $19.99. Alright, so Dwayne's very excited right now. <laughs> this is he so found... cool! Alright, so this is slimy! Say hello to Slimy. All my old school friends know who Slimy is. The original OGs of Sesame Street. We have Oscar's best friend, Slimy, here. I mean, you can't get better than that. Oh my god! Yay! You have the little girl. I always wanted to call her name, or, name Sally or something, but I have no idea. But she was a little girl that would do the plays, and she would introduce the plays. Now it is time. Like, it was so cute. But we have the Tweedles! Oh, my uh, goodness. Like, all right. I'm, like, like I, re I remember them, yeah. but I keep thinking Fraggle Rock. Right, yeah. No, but these guys used to live in little milk cartons. Okay. Like, the little milk cartons, they had their own little town. Uh-huh. Just like in Fraggle Rock, where they had the little juicers. Okay. Well, they had the Tweedlebugs. Okay. And the Tweedlebugs hung out on the windowsill of Bert and Ernie. Uh-huh. You know, the friends. Who else did you have? I got Snuffy. You found a Snuffy plush? He's real. Snuffy up, I guess. Oh, that is so cool. These are so neat. And they're by gun, so they're a little more on the pricey side. However, they feel amazing. 
They really do. Like Let's Stuffy see. is amazing. Oh no, Stuffy feels like, and like are, this is this are, is high quality. Yes. Like yep. they definitely the detail is amazing. Yeah, and they're even labeled classic character collection, so they're like twenty seven dollars each. But if you are fans, this is the only place you're gonna get them. Yep. So you're gonna spend it. Here's some more of the Tom's shoes. So if you want to get some of the Elmo shoes, you're looking at forty-seven dollars. All right, we're finally making it past the corner. Oh, look at the coffee mugs. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't need any more coffee mugs, but dear Lord, look at this. Oh, with his friend the worm. How much is that? Fifteen dollars with Oscar. And it says scram inside. Oh, I love those handles. Like the Cookie Monster has the cookies for handles. And then we got all the hats right here. We'll keep going. Of course we have spirit jerseys. Why not? Every theme park's doing it. We got the Oscar the Grouch right there. And Elmo. And then... I was wrong. Her name is Prairie Dawn. Okay. Okay. Like, I had to look her up. Back <laughs> her name is Prairie Dawn. There we go. And then we got all these cool plushes. These are, like, high-quality plushes, too. This is some good merch over here. Then we got all the Play School stuff. Oh, we got the Honkers. Honkers are right there. And, oh... Holy cow. <laughs> I love this shirt. Look at this. <laughs> Sushi, he's picking up raw cookie dough. That is my boy right there. So if I was going to get... Now this is the legit Tervis, so when you come here, you got to watch out. Some things are Tervises, some things are not. But look at this. Did somebody say cookie? So SeaWorld started the whole pin trading bad. And uh, here's everything. But I have to say, some of those lanyards here at the bottom, some of those lanyards, like these in particular, are just baller. So remember, kindness is always free at Hooper's. And we are going to enter Mr. Hooper's store. <laughs> Sesame Street emoji towels. An emoji backpack. And these Elmo bubble blowers, I'm guessing. Interactive light-up bubble wands. Some slap bracelets over here. So inside Mr. Hooper's, oh look, there's their first dollar. It was established 1951 over in Hooper's, their very first dollar he made. And here is the original Mr. Hooper himself. Jeff exclamation point here. Oh my goodness, that merchandise at SeaWorld, the Sesame Street area, like literally blew my mind. It was some good high quality merchandise. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a nice little thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to be informed whenever I do post videos, uh, click the little bell in the corner. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, just look up Jeff on YouTube. The description is below. And gang, I will see you next time. Bye.